Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're finally going to be doing the LA Flare Carpenter Pants DIY. Now I showed you guys in my last video the pants I was going to use, but the reason why this video is kind of delayed is because I decided to actually keep those pants. <laughs> I didn't want to cut them up. I really like how they look and how they fit on me. So I ended up going back on eBay, copying another pair, and then they finally came in today. Now the size of those pants, I got them in size 3330, just like the previous one, um, which is good because they fit me around my waist, but 30 is a little bit short. Um, obviously I will have to extend it by, you know, opening up the hem, make it a little bit longer to make it look a little bit more like the LA Flare Carpenter pants. The good thing about these pants compared to the very first ones that I use is that these pants are thicker and they, they're a lot more faded and more aged, I guess you can say. There's a lot more wear on them, which helps with the aesthetic. Honestly, like looking back, this is the first one I use. These are pretty thin. I mean, especially compared to the pants I'm going to use. Now, this is the one I'm going to keep. But the other ones look pretty much the same as this. And it's the same material, same thickness and everything. So side by side, and it's a, a better brown, you know? But if you don't know how they look like, I'll put them on screen right now. They're actually not on the website anymore. So thankfully I screenshot them. So the main things I have to do is taper it and then flare it out. So here's a third pair of car pants I bought off eBay that I was going to use for this DIY. But while I was shooting this clip, I looked in the mirror and I realized that I actually like how these fit on me when it came to the bagginess and how they sat on my shoes. So what did I do? I decided to use the second pair I bought that I was originally going to keep. So yeah, I kind of wasted a couple days. But here's a simple fit I put together with the third pair I bought from eBay and a sweater I found in my dad's closet. A keeper, right? You wouldn't cut them up, right? The first step is to line them up by bleaching them. I don't know how brown pants would end up looking like after bleaching them, so this was kind of a gamble. I think to get a more one-to-one -one color of the LA flares, you'd probably have to sun fade them, but that process takes way too long. After throwing them in the wash, here's how they look like. It's kind of too yellow in my opinion, and I think they got a little bit shorter. I don't know. But either way, we're working with it. I should have done this step before bleaching them so that the color would be the same, but since the pants are a little too short, we gotta extend them by opening up the hem. Once they're open, we have to remove the creases by ironing it straight. Unfortunately though, this step didn't fully help solve the length issue. In other words, it was still too short. So we have to add an extension to both sides. Originally, I was gonna use this dark denim, but I think the contrasting colors would look kind of off, so I went with the front panel to keep the colors consistent. Removing the knee panel is simple. You gotta just remove the rivets with like these pliers with like a scissor part on it and then just undo the stitches. What's under looked kind of gross because it kind of looked like it was infested with mold or something but it was actually just blotches from the bleaching process since the panel was covering it. Now we have to remove the panel. We don't want to have straight cuts because that's too artificial so avoid using scissors but instead use a seam ripper to stab and tear at it to create a rough cut that'll look a lot more natural. The inseam of the pants measured to 30 inches, and I want to extend that to 32 inches. This means I have to add on two and a half inches. Now two and a half because we're going to use the half inch as the seam allowance to create a clean looking seam. We're going to use half an inch from the bottom of the pant legs as the other half of the seam since there's already a crease from the hem to sew them together. With the pants turned inside out and laid flat along the inseam, I took some pants that already had the taper that I wanted, laid it flat on top of the pants, and traced it with a white chalk pencil. Along that line, I pinned the pants together so I can try it on and make any adjustments before sewing it together. Originally, I was going to put the flare panel on the outseam, but when I added the extension, I used the inseam instead of the outseam. Now, because the seam of the extension is on the inseam when it should be on the outseam, we have to use the seam on the inseam because of the seam allowance for the seam of the flare panel and seam. 
<laughs> the opening at the moment came out to eight and a half inches, but what we want is 10 inches. So we have to add a panel that's one and a half inches. I marked 16 inches from the bottom because that's how long I want the panel to be. And then reopened the inseam up until that mark. To make the flare panel, I used these jeans that were from a scrapped project, cut out 16 inches, drew the flare panel guidelines, and sewed it together with the pants along the seams. If you haven't figured it out yet, the seam is very important. It wouldn't be a proper Julius DIY if there wasn't some hand stitching involved, so I ended up hand stitching these rips on both pant legs that were on the back of the pants that made the pants sit weird on my shoes. I didn't film it, but I re-bleached the pants afterwards to fix the moldy looking outline of the knee panel and to lighten up the flare panel a bit because it was kind of too dark. Now it's looking much more clean. Lastly, with the pants laid flat, we're going to splatter some black paint to finish off the look. 